Hey guys, so welcome to the second tutorial of uh, the day here, this day. So um, today I want to show you how you can unlock the bootloader of the Google Nexus 9 and then also root the Nexus 9 and then also install the custom recovery at the same time. So these three things, very easy and uh, for uh, very easy for new people who have very less experience and all that. But uh, so first and of all, you need what you need to do is you need to have this Nexus Root Toolkit version 2.0.2 or uh, the latest version, of course. You have to, you'll be seeing the link in the description. So download it and install it on your Windows device, laptop, or PC. But anyways, you can see that Nexus Root Toolkit version 2.0.2. And you can see it's showing me the basic information here, Nexus 9, HTC Wi-Fi tablet, Android 5.0.1 uh, actually, LRX22C. Now we all know that the Nexus 9 here, the good boy, it comes with 5.0.1 Lollipop as pre-installed, if you buy it, if you have it. But uh, it is not rooted of course, so you can see it is rooted at the moment uh, because I've already done that. You know, before making tutorials, I actually do it on my devices to check if it's safe or not. So, um, first, uh, you need to download this Nexus Root Toolkit. Then you first open it up. It will ask you that uh, what device are you using, what Nexus device are you, which Nexus device you are using. Just select Nexus 9, and then uh, it will ask. Uh, it will also show you which software you are using. You have you have to choose this one, 5.0.1 LRX 2 c That's the uh, version that you are running on your Nexus 9. When you select all that, uh, it will going to it download some specific things. Make sure you have a Wi-Fi connection, and then you will see this uh, home page of this software. So this is all it looks like. It's pretty easy. I'm going to show you now. To first to unlock the bootloader, what you need to do is you need to go into the about tablet section and then you need to tap on build number a couple of times until you unlock the uh, developer options now in the developer options okay let me just zoom in a little bit more so into the developer option what you need to do is uh, when you go here into the developer option you need to enable a option which is called as enable OEM unlock I'm not sure how it's how to pronounce it but this is uh, here the option enable OEM unlock this is an option you need to tick it and this is in the developer option now when you, once you've done that also make sure that you have USB debugging enabled uh, here we have the USB de debugging enabled now once you have done uh, these two steps uh, just connect your Nexus 9 to your laptop or your Windows device via USB cable and once you connect it, this software, of course, are going to detect it automatically. But if it don't, you have to click on the full driver installation. It will, uh, uh, you know, install the drivers automatically for your Google Nexus 9 Flounder device. You can see I've done this uh, three things, uh, basically. Um, so what you need to do when you connect it, you have the right uh, f uh, drivers installed. You need to process... Uh, Proceed further, uh, you need to click on the unlock bootloader uh, option. Now, once you click on the unlock bootloader option, it will set, uh, say this stuff here before you proceed. Enable OEM unlock that I've shown you before. Once you click OK, in order to unlock your device, you need to be in the bootloader mode first. Now, go into the bootloader mode. You can go it by holding down the power and the volume down key at the same time. I'm not sure if that's the main combination. Uh, I think that's the right. So let's do this. One, two, three. Okay, I'm not going to do it with just one hand, so it will require two hands actually. So holding down the power and the volume down button at the same time. And the screen is now off. And I can see that Nexus 9 is now in the bootloader section. Now, this is the bootloader menu. This is how it looks like. We have these cool options. Now, you can see on the top, device state is unlocked. When your device is locked, it will say locked. Now, once you are in this section, once you are in this section, 
first you when you click on the yes it will ask you to checking ADB slash fastboot now it's actually checking whether your device is in bootloader menu or not you can do it uh, like this way like I've done and then connect your Nexus 9 uh, to your laptop it will go into detect it and it will automatically going to um, unlock the bootloader but if you don't want to do uh, the volume hold and uh, volume down hold and the power button you can just do it uh, like when you click, when you have the drivers, you can click OK, and it, the software is going to uh, transfer your Nexus 9 into the bootloader mode. But I will recommend you that you should do it like manually, like I did. Hold down the power and the volume down button at the same time. This is going to transfer your Nexus 9 into the uh, bootloader mode here. Now connect your Nexus 9 to your laptop, and it will going to detect it and uh, you just have to proceed uh, the instruction on the when instruction going to appear here just click OK further and uh, you'll see an option on the Nexus 9 uh, one option will say yes and other option will say no hit the volume up for the yes one and when you click uh, when you hit the power up and your device will going to reboot and this will going to unlock the bootloader now once you have unlocked the bootloader what you need to do is you need to connect your Nexus 9 again to your laptop for the routing procedure now click here on the root section okay let me just zoom in now what you need to do is click on this root button this cool root button and make sure you have ticked this one here for custom recovery now all you need to do is just drink coffee and everything will be done automatically your device will be rooted with a custom recovery now I will show you that I have a custom recovery which is the latest version of the TWRP and it is working absolutely fine on this big screen so I'm gonna go, in, uh, I'm gonna go into the recovery by holding down the volume up and the power button at the same time to transfer it into the recovery mode one of my favorite recoveries the TWRP like always okay so there's no option here first I have to power off my Nexus 9 and I have to do that but of course uh, it's working very fine you can see that uh, pretty well built tablet and I'll be checking out a lot of ROM stuff for this device so be sure to subscribe for that so I'm holding down the volume up and the power key at the same time and I heard a vibration okay so it's sending me into the um, bootloader menu so I should have to try it on the, uh, the other way should hold the volume down but this will going to install the recovery automatically on your Nexus 9. Now with this recovery, first thing you want to do is make a backup of your custom, uh, whatever ROM you are using. Of course you are on the 5.0.1 stock. So make a backup for your stock ROM, then install some custom ROMs and all that. So I'll make a separate video of how to enter recovery mode and all that. And... Um, and of course this will go and install the TWRP recovery on your device without any problem and if you don't want to mess up with these buttons here you can download a app uh, actually when you root using this method you get that app uh, by default like if I go here into this uh, app section you can just see this quick reboot app this extremely amazing app uh, you can see you can go here to power off menu you can go to into the reboot recovery uh, options uh, using this app so uh, if I click here into the recovery section you can see my device will go instantly into recovery mode and uh, let's see if it goes or not let's see okay so finally we are here TWRP recovery my favorite recovery and uh, you can see that I am here. Let's see if it's loading here. Come on. Okay, so 
After 10 long years, we are finally here in this recovery. So you can see that we have all those options, install, wipe, and backup, and all that stuff. So you can restore from a previous backup, you can make a backup, you can also install a ROM, you can wipe that effect, reset. You can also simply reboot back your device uh, to the uh, bootloader or you can also reboot the recovery again, you can power off or to the system. So this is the TWRP recovery for uh, the Nexus 9 and in, for using this method you can do unlock, you can root and you can install the recovery, all these three things. So be sure to download the Nexus Root 2 kit from the link down in the description, uh, the best software available for Nexus devices. Even if you have a Nexus 6, you can do the same stuff. You can unlock any Nexus device bootloader using this software. So, that is amazing. So, thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like this, share it, and subscribe. I'll see you next one. Peace out.